Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. <laughs> that was worth it. You're welcome, YouTube. Are those guns now? So. And now, if that doesn't help you get a girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what will. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy TGIF. I'm wearing my Happy Friday shirt <laughs> like I did last Friday. Totally unplanned, by the way. Um, but it's like 10 in the morning, which might sound late for a lot of you. But when you go to bed at 4, it's not that late. <laughs> um, it's 10 in the morning. I'm here at the warehouse. I'm waiting for the guy. I'm doing a better call Paul de-staging job. Uh, Jay is a freaking animal. <laughs> he said he wants to work today. I, I said I could give him a day off and get somebody else, but he said he wants to work. So he's probably like on like four hours of sleep as well. <laughs> but Jay and Artem are coming to do that. So I'm gonna go uh, uh, get those, get them set up at the properties, tell them what to, when he's to go. And then um, after they're done with that, I'm gonna take Artem with me and we're gonna go empty the lockers. While they do that, I wanna get some organizing done. So like, as you see right here, so as, as you see here, I started printing all these labels for all my shelves. This one says B3, this one says B2, A2 right here. So I have A, B, C done. I need to uh, print one for D, because this, this is gonna have all eBay stuff on it as well. And here I have other storage stuff or smaller stuff. So here I call my A tracks. I have like A, A through F, G through P, G through Z. You know, they're all in here. I have more eBay stuff here that I labeled, and I'm gonna have more eBay stuff there I need to label. So the plan is, um, to label all them and then I, I want to make like a custom SKU for all my items and tell on the SKU where they're located. So for example, let's say I sell this fishing fund, um, fishing fund like piggy bank little jar, I can say on my SKU that's on B2. That way when it sells, I can just go to B2 and look for it there, you know? It's gonna be helpful for me, but it's gonna be really helpful for my sister when she's doing things when I'm in, when I'm in Israel. So that way she just, just gets to go to every single thing and say, oh, okay, this is here, this is here, this is here. It's gonna take a lot of work. <laughs> I'm gonna to try to have it all done before I leave. It's gonna be so helpful for her when she's here and I'm trying to make it as little work for her as possible. So I'm gonna to get to that, uh, but that's, that's about it. Uh, let me wait for the guys. Send them off and then get to work. Huh? Can you do something, please? I'm on the clock. <laughs> Poor Jay's like, yo, when is Arm gonna start working? Jay's not minding me. Pivot! Pivot! It's a French joke, Arnold. Uh, what's up guys i'm in extra space in where am i claymont <laughs> extra space in claymont delaware this is the second unit that i won yesterday this one i spent 20 dollars on so uh, let me just show you the quick first glance this is what i got for 20 dollars again look like it's just a bunch of stuff so it's worth taking a risk vacuums are quick easy sells for me i see like a printer here that i hope works a uh, toddler bed, um, a lazy boy. <laughs> so you just see money right away, which is good. Um, some kids' toys, bunch of bins. Is this a router? <laughs> Expand your router. I know routers are money now. So that's 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 good. And a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff behind it. And the plan is to go through this one and to go to the one I bought yesterday. So, but twenty dollars. That's like. You can't go wrong for 20. I can sell the vacuum for 20. <laughs> it's like, after that, it's pure profit. So that's why, like, you can't go, 
can't go wrong with these. But yeah, let me get to uh, let me get to work. I'm probably like 40% on the way through all of this right here. I, I finished this pile in this area. I still have all that to go. These right here is all like trash. It's like sad to throw this out, but I don't know what else to do with it. These are just a bunch of family pictures and like diplomas and other personal stuff and like birthday cards and everything, but I can't do anything with it. I had to throw it out. So this is gonna be all trash. Um, these are gonna be donations. Uh, this I'm gonna sell. It's a bunch of different textbooks. I didn't see what they're worth yet, but it should be good. And then these are my small pile of keepers, but it's a good pile. I got like some uh, crystal bowls in here. You can see, see, um, you got a, the vacuum, some like easels and all that. This is a home run right here. This is an AirSense 10 breathing machine. Comes with the mask, all the wires. I have to test if this works or not, but um, uh, I've seen these. I looked, at, I looked, I comped it up right away because it looked really good. So I comped that uh, breathing machine out to see what it was sold for, and the comps for used ones on eBay are about four to five hundred with free shipping. The thing weighs like five, ten pounds. Shipping's gonna cost me ten or twenty dollars. So if I can sell it for four fifty with free shipping. Uh, take 430 for it that'll be insane <laughs> for a 20 dollar purchase like that's 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 gonna be awesome so uh, i'm gonna take it back to the warehouse and test it out and list it probably even today <laughs> if it works i'm listening it tonight because <laughs> i want to get it out i want to get it up on the on the site i was gonna help you with my goal right uh but yeah that's that's the so far that's a surprise home run fine is this breathing machine you know uh, but still have a good chunk to go through. So let me um, get back to work. that but and then there was a couple of nice bags like having like two three bags full of clothes and some shoes so that that's good um i have like a whole thing of uh, costume jewelry some some nice candles some uh, hair product stuff like blow dryers and straighteners and curlers and all that so i should should get some decent money on everything um if i might put a price uh, that breathing machine helped me out quite a bit. <laughs> Grand total, if I was gonna put an estimate, I paid 20 for the unit. I'm probably gonna get around a thousand dollars back. Thousand is a pretty accurate um, bet. Look who decided to show up. <laughs> they are. Popping up here, boys. So, so I think we'll Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. <laughs> that was worth it. You welcome me too. Are those guns now? So And now if that doesn't help you get a girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what will. This when I'm recording. That's a medical issue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm back at this place now. This is where we were yesterday. It's getting dark, so it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys what we got. Maybe I'll do it when we get to the warehouse, but gotta hurry up and get this cleared out. It's better to show them in the dark so they don't see all this nonsense. I hate you sometimes. Zing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I'm back at the warehouse. Seems like as soon as they clear us up, it just fills back up again. Like, look at all 
the stuff that I have now. This is the first time we ever cleared out a storage unit in the dark. That was an interesting experience because it got dark so fast and it's outside. There was no light in the storage unit. <laughs> so legit, I was like, Artem, hold my phone. My phone was a flashlight and I had to dig through the boxes. What I got from that unit, you'll see over here, is just a bunch of uh, bags of clothes. I have a lot of clothes, probably over like 100 to 200 items of clothing and lots of shoes and I got like two or three bins of toys. The only reason I'm keeping the toys now is because I'm doing flea markets and I'm just gonna take them with me. I'll probably take some with me tomorrow uh, to the flea market and just like list them at like a dollar a toy and have it sold that way. So it'll be worth, it'll be worth my time, you know? So, so it had a bunch of toys and then it had um, two cribs, which you know my success rate with cribs is insanely high. Uh, so I had two cribs, I had this awesome like Noel this is right here. Look, look how cool this looks. So a Noel uh, Christmas decoration. That will sell pretty easily. And a lot of trash. I would probably say I trashed about 70% of the unit. Like 70% of it got trashed. <laughs> but, uh, but again, I paid $10 for the unit. So <laughs> when you pay $10, you expect to have a lot of trash. So uh, I would say, uh, with the clothes alone, I probably have five to six hundred dollars worth of clothes, uh, plus shoes, uh, plus the cribs and the Christmas stuff and toys. I probably have around like seven to eight hundred dollars easily. With the two units today, I'm at thirty dollars, twenty for one, ten for the other, and uh, with uh, tr with the Penske truck and with paying Artem, I'm probably down another one fifty or so total. So, 150, 170 or so. But just say I'm probably in 200 total for today. And I expect back around 1,800 to two grand. So I'm getting about 10 times my money. So I'm pretty happy. I haven't done any listings yet on eBay. <laughs> uh, but I have uh, an idea on how to hit my goal. <laughs> okay, so here's my listing for the day. <laughs> one listing for $450. That's how you hit your goal right there, right? Uh, I, list, I listed this right here, uh, this, this breathing machine. So I listed it for 450 with free shipping. It's about six pounds, so it's gonna cost me about 15 to $20 to ship. But uh, hopefully that sells pretty quick. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's like 12 in the morning. I need to get out of here because I need to like wake up at seven tomorrow to get ready for the flea market. Uh, but let me tell you what sold. I had five things that sold, which is good. <laughs> I'll take, uh, I'd rather have more, but I'll take five every single day. Uh, they're all five, like pretty low value items, but it cleans up some listings, I guess. First one is this, safety lower handle rock. A lower handle lock. This was a bad purchase. I got this a good with like 50 cents. I tried to scan it, but um, I had no service. I had no idea what this was what this was worth, and it was brand new, and it was 50 cents. So I took a chance on it. It's not worth much. I f it was in my store for like four months, for like two months, and I finally sold it for four dollars today. But don't buy this. <laughs> That's not a good purchase. Next thing that sold is the Street Fighter game for DS. I got uh, $10 for this game, and this was from uh, the freezer unit. Next is this Age of Empires, like old PC game. I got this at Habitat for Humanity for a dollar, and this thing sold for 10. Next thing that's is this uh, Columbo Complete Third Season. This was either from the flea market unit or from uh, Media Yard Sale Day. I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so it was either, either it had a dollar into it or this was from the flea market unit. But I got $10 for this today. And last but not least, I sold these two PS4 games. These were from the freezer unit. I sold them as a lot and I got $10 for a lot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me pack these guys up. Um, call it a night. Peace out, everybody.